All right, you birds. Here we have the uh, website to download this software. I'm on a Mac, and so my selection is down here. So once you get that done, we don't really need this anymore. What we do. And this, if you're installing on a Mac, can be quite a challenge and can take some patience and some, um, you know, you have to go into the this business up here and, you know, come down here and private and security. You probably know the drill already. But here we have it. This is the latest one, nine something. And what we're gonna do is, you've gotta come in here and you have to lead this right by the nose all the time. So here I've got, this is samples from Mars, and I'm going to do one of these at a time. There is an hour recursive feature in, in this uh, software, so you could, I mean, this is like 40 gigabytes, this one, and you could just kind of leave it run all day and see if it would do it. But you just highlight this and click open, and now you've got this da-da-da, and you pick the format, and I happen to know that this is NKI, every file in here. And even the WAV files are some proprietary thing, but this guy's figured it all out. Now you're going to have to come back over here, and I've already made these. Um, I've already made these in advance, and you have to lead this by the nose. Whoops! Every time. Okay, and we want 360. And it has to be empty. This directory has to be empty. So I went through and made a bunch of empty directories first. And now I'm going to make it for the MPC. But you can pick your, your choice here. And there's quite a few of them. And then you just click Convert. And it does it. And every once in a while, one of these lines will turn red and it say, couldn't make the conversion because of this, that, and the other thing. And it's just kind of tough luck. I just don't think there's anything that can be done about it. I used to get a lot of um, problems with multi-layered, multi-velocity layers, I think is the thing. And down here it says finish. This is kind of hard to see. And you just get closed. And then, just to make sure this actually did something, and there's the file I made. Here's all the instruments. Here's the guitars. And now here's your um, XPM. So you could load this key group into your Akai and be happening. And we'll do one more for drill. So again, whoops, again, we'll come back. And I'm just going top to bottom. So don't do anything in here because it'll, it'll work its way through the directories, the subdirectories rather. Okay, and then we're going to come back over here. Oh, and it kind of found its way this time. This has uh, been corrected since I last used it, and we're still, this remains the same, so it's all good. The output folder is not empty. Okay, it thinks it's doing source. Uh, it, it just copied this to here, so I guess it's not corrected. Anyway, I mean, it's really an awesome piece of software. So this is the directory that I made. This is, I know this is blank. So this is obviously in a different place. I should have noticed that earlier. Okay, so convert, and it's happening. And now that it's kind of found its, its uh, way around, it does this real fast. And in fact, I did like a whole CD's worth in just you know a couple of minutes one time. So that's it with the convert with Moss. It's pretty handy and it's free and you don't have to sign up or log in or make an account or sign up for spam or pay anybody or anything. This guy's a genius. Um, and there's quite a few of this. It, wow, Ableton Sampler? Are you kidding me? Did I see Ableton in here? Yeah, it'll take, you know, just like a whole stack of waves um, and turn it into one of these formats here. Now the older version had some, yeah, Ableton Sampler, and you can turn that into Logic. That's pretty hip. And go the other way. That's nice. Now Quark, I think this is the Cronus and the Nautilus and maybe the Triton. I'm not sure. That's worth a try. I think I tried this before and it didn't work. But mostly because I didn't know my way around the Triton or the uh, the Cronus. So that that's worth looking into. And I've actually used this, and I can show you on the Kai because it's 
these samples, this, this, um, this samples for Mars thing is pretty rocking, I gotta say. All right. I mean, it's, you know, if you got a rainy weekend ahead of you, this is a, a way to get these really upscale samples uh, from all over into your machine. All right, well, keep up the good work, everybody. And there it is, the 505. We can see it right here. And uh, I guess we could... And so you get the idea. Now to get to this, to load this app, we just copied this onto this. And there's the little, the little card. And of course we can put this in the back here. So we copied those directories with the XPM file on it and you just put her in the back there. And I'm not gonna load this, because. but if we go to Shift and Menu, you'll see that that's where it is, but. And the thing we want is this one here with the four things on it. So we click Open and it says XPM, that's the actual key. And these are key groups, shoot, I should have said that. So if you're not into key groups, this is the thing. So we just click load and it's all loaded up. So back to main. And okay, this is the other thing. And let me take you over here. So when these load up, they'll come up into this one, number four. And when you're... So if you're used to having your stuff on with A1 down here and your kick drum and all that, you'll have to kind of figure out how to do that on your own. Um, so what else can we tell you? Okay, when you go to this, because they're key groups and not drum kits, and see that little keyboard? So menu, pad mixer, and this is blank, because you're but you're up here, which is where you put your, your stuff in. And you'd think that's what would do it, but you don't. You come back down here. There might be a way to change that. And now, so we're from pan. You probably can't hear that on the phone, but that's how you do that. The, my point is, is that you have to, you just have to have a heads up for these things and these things. And when you come to load this up, you're looking for this file extension. You're looking for that file extension, XPM, because that's the key groups. All right, well, that's probably enough to get you started. That's really cool software and worth knowing about. And that's it for this edition. And I guess that's it for now. I just thought it was amazing that you could use that software to, um, you know, to import files from sample CDs from uh, just about anywhere in the world. If you spent the whole of COVID making logic samples and, you know, in the logic format or the Ableton format, you can now suck it all up and have it on hand uh, for your MPC. All right, well, take it easy, everybody.